Hi everyone and welcome to Red Carpet With. As usual, you're with me, Shah Shamshiri, on this wonderful, wonderful episode. Um, I've always uh, enjoyed doing this show because I get to meet the most beautiful, the most interesting and the most talented people. And today, I get to be another one of those. So with me is the very lovely Sue Wincy. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm hi. good, thank you very much. <laughs> Wincy, thank you so much for joining us today thank on Red you. Carpet With. Um, yeah. And um, I know we just uh, finished uh, Fasting Man and Hari yes. Raya, so a lot of people have uh, so many activities going on. So I appreciate you making time for us today. Thank you, my pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, mm. so we'll just get straight to it now. Um, sure. If our ABN viewers uh, can remember very well, Wincy was actually one of the performers during the ABN launch. Yes, indeed, the launch, yeah. Yeah, okay, mm. and uh, finally now I get to have her on the show. Yay. So I, I didn't really have the time, I didn't have the time to interview her full length during the, uh, the launch actually. Yeah. My colleague did. So now it's my turn. So maybe uh, sure. Wincy, you can tell mm. us a bit after the launch that was sometime in June and now it's already two yes. months past already. Yeah. So what are you busy with right now? Well, actually for me now, I'm uh, kind of like, you know, um, basing in Taiwan. Okay. But I come back uh, mostly like every month as well. Okay. So juggling between two markets, Taiwan market and my Malaysia market. Taiwan market, I'm releasing my first international album there. Okay. But Malaysia, now I'm having my, uh, a few of my Malay single. Okay. So nowadays, it's uh, Raya Man is busy because I'm not going back because uh, I'm shooting a lot of program here. Okay. So it's, um, it's kind of a big one. <laughs> so I'm very fortunate because she's based in Taiwan and I get to have her here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So how long yeah. are you in Taiwan and how long are you in KL usually okay. in Okay, alright. Uh, actually, I based there half a year ago. So okay. during my promo period, my schedule is crazy. Monday to Friday in Taiwan, Saturday. Day, Sunday in Malaysia or sometimes one month in Taiwan, one month in Malaysia depending on which site the promo period so sometimes if I need to promote my Malay album so I need to stay here okay. if I need to promote my Taiwan album so I need to go back there so it's very flexible for me so okay. it's like you know um, the airport is my second home <laughs> oh my so right now at this yes. current time you know in this month of August where are you mostly based at right now? okay uh, this month August uh, I'm basing in Malaysia because okay. I'll be shooting one uh, program very soon in Malaysia so okay. I'll be here until November. Okay, mm -hmm. no I'm so fortunate. <laughs> now we're talking about your album, okay? Yes. After you won Miss Malaysia, in Malaysia, oh. right? When a lot of people after they uh, all these pageant contestants, when they yes. win, um, <laughs> some actually uh, find uh, their own identity. They don't. What should I do? Okay, everyone has this cliche thinking that uh, after you win uh, a pageant, then you're gonna be an actress. After you win a pageant, you're gonna be I don't know. But you, you actually did everything. Actually, you you, you sing. <laughs> and then you, you acted as well. Yeah, acted and from what well. I know, you compose as well. You're yes, a singer-songwriter yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, how do you find this this time to do all this after winning the pageant? I mean, well, actually, you know, I tell you a secret. Actually, uh, before winning the pageant, actually, I've been very active and doing other stuff. So okay. I already planned myself that I want to step into the entertainment line. Okay. So that time, actually, I was very against an anti uh, beauty pageant. Oh, yes, <laughs> you were against. I was beauty against. Pageant. Because like, I was thinking, oh, why should I? Because I was very focused on my music. Because ever since young, I learned music and stuff. Although I'm, I, um, I'm a law-based student, but it's my passion is music. So the time when I came back from UK after I graduated my law degree, so the time I was like crazily finding ways how to step into the entertainment line. I was any competition, singing competition, modeling competitions, everything, I just go and participate. But, but not pageants. Not pageants, but at the time I was too eager already. So at the end, my mom said, why not just try pageants? And say. So I tried a few, and then Miss from Malaysia was the one who brought me to the Okay, so mm. it was like a stepping stone. It was like a stepping love, stone, right? yeah. Okay. But people didn't know that why. People always thought that it's after the beauty queen. Ah. But actually, it's before that I really like you know I really want to become a singer. Okay. But that's just another stepping stone. Luckily, she told me that so I wouldn't have known either. Yeah, yeah. I think right. no one know. Everyone thought that oh, after beauty queen only I learn singing and stuff. And actually, before that I really started composing songs. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, the other remarkable thing about Wincy, um, a lot of you may not be aware, she holds a law degree, she has a master's in business administration, and right now you are pursuing your PhD as yeah. well, right, out campus. Yes. So uh, you plan to graduate, uh, complete your PhD uh, hopefully, anytime soon? Hopefully before I reach thirty. <laughs> okay. Cause okay, actually before this my schedule is still okay, but now this is so crazy. Sometimes you want to do your homework or you know during research, it's 
it's really tiring. Okay. It's really tiring to juggle between work and study, but you still need to come out. Like what they say, it's okay to go slow, but must finish. <laughs> so you purposely did this as a challenge, I suppose? Yes, I challenged myself. Because I guess, um, for me, myself, I'm not born smart. So I need to non-stop to cultivate new knowledge. And you know, like, education is just like going to the gym. Okay. If you stop, you become fat or you become, okay. you know, like, very lazy. So education is a push for me so that I don't get old. <laughs> yeah. I see. Alright, that's very motivating and so humble of her to say, you know, she's not very smart. I think you're very smart. I mean, no, no, I'm not smart, really. <laughs> for her to say she's not born smart, you wouldn't be able to accomplish all this, right? A law degree, then a master's in administration, then juggling all these things. You're a singer-songwriter. Like I said, it's remarkable, okay? Thank you. And um, at the same time, right now in Malaysia, you said you are promoting your Malay single. Yes. Uh, uh, we have heard it's Semusim uh, Asmara. Semusim Asmara yeah. okay? Doing uh, actually quite well on the radio. Thank you. Right. Uh, <laughs> now, that is composed by Myself, yourself. Yeah, and the lady. lyrics were done by... Uh, Slan, Abang Slan. Oh, yeah. Abang Slan. Okay, okay, okay. So actually, all this while, it's always been my passion to release uh, a Malay full album. Okay. So Because you've had Malay singles before this, right? Yeah, so okay. very soon, very soon you see a new product coming up yeah okay mm. so now uh, after Samusim Asmara the, the single yeah. you plan to have a Malay album I suppose yes actually I already recorded all the tracks already I it's see. just the waiting for the timing yeah are they all self pen self composed not all self composed uh, but uh, I think mostly it's like because for me nowadays like um, you know sometimes when coming to um, song selection we need to have a meeting and stuff so we uh, kind of sat down there we give the direction to a producer so from there we all uh, discuss together mm -hmm. I see all right uh, now that part is about her music and I've got a lot more to ask her but uh, we have to take a short break sure. okay after this we'll ask more about maybe her personal life what she does during her free time okay stay tuned to Red Carpet With we'll be right back ABN Access TV Cable Digital Pertama di Malaysia terbaik dalam penjimatan TV dan internet dengan variasi saluran baru tempatan dan antarabangsa Internet berkelajuan tinggi sehingga 50 Mbps. Harga promosi Access 50 dengan internet 10 Mbps hanya RM98.99 sebulan. Langgani sekarang, hubungi kami di 1300-22-3399 atau layari abnaccess.com. Centralize. Only on Zoom, India's number one Bollywood channel. Hi, welcome back to Red Carpet With. You're still with me, Shah, and the very, very beautiful and talented Su Win Si. Hello. <laughs> okay, uh, before the break, we were talking about all these wonderful things she's doing. Okay, First, she tells me she's based in two countries at the same time, simultaneously. I yeah. don't know how she does it. She's juggling her studies and her career, her entertainment career. And now she's got more projects coming up. Now, uh, talking about these projects, just now yeah. we talked about your music career. Okay, yeah. And th that is actually your main focus. You really want to be a singer? Yes, I want to be a singer. And we all know she can sing. Like I said, she sang for our <laughs> launch. We can never forget that. Um, but apart from that, yeah. I know that you've also delved in acting. You've tried some acting before. Yes, okay. yeah. And um, any other acting projects coming soon? Actually, I just finished a Malay film. Okay. Yeah, my first Malay film. But there will be more acting projects coming soon. Actually, before this, uh, why I'm focusing so much on singing? Because uh -huh. before this, I was too out of focus. So okay. there's no strong identity. That's why me and my company, like we plan that we focus on uh, singing first. Okay. Then acting, we need to slot in time whenever that's possible. Because for me, I guess like people ask me, hey, acting or singing, choose one. I tell you, for me, I need to combine both. You know okay. why? I need the acting to, you know, get the feel and the inspiration to compose song. I see. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. And you act in, like you say, you just finished the Malay film. That means you can act in, 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 in Mandarin, in, in yeah. Malay. Actually, um, I, I already acted in a few uh, Chinese drama. I was okay. nominated as the best newcomer last year for okay. the Golden Awards. All right. Okay. So uh, then after that, this year um, my acting is just one film okay. so far. So far. So uh, other than that, it's just cameo, cameo. Hopefully, very soon you see me more, more things. Uh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, like I said, the talent doesn't stop. Now, apart from your busy life here, yeah. studying <laughs> and then your acting and your singing, yeah. 
how do you find time to relax? What does Suisi oh. like to do during her free time? You know, what, what is she occupied with? You know what? My free time is still working. <laughs> Are you for real? I'm not lying. Because, okay, uh, during my free time, it's okay. actually another secret. I'm training on my pole dancing. Okay. okay. That's why I got, I got a lot of bruises on my legs. Another hidden talent. Yeah. Pole dancing. Because okay. for me, I guess um, I need to keep on collecting talent. For me, I have a hobby. I like okay. to collect talent. Okay. That's why uh, for me, um, I'm learning uh, area arts. I'm learning a lot, a lot of something to challenge my body. Because before this, I have zero flexibility. But in another way, uh, all this like very rigid like uh, exercise kind of led me to reduce my stress. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, during my free time, you see me in the uh, academy and training all this fitness stuff. Yeah. Mm. See. All right. So. That is your free time. Most of the time, you're you're practicing yes. your pole dancing. Practicing and then... pole dancing or in the gym. I need okay. to train on my stamina. Anything else? I don't know. I'm just wondering. Um, massage. I love massage. Oh, you go for massage. <laughs> yes, and like and like, especially like I need to pamper my body whenever I feel like aching here and there. So I will treat myself massage. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but food no, because I get uh, kind of like I gain weight very easily. I see. Oh, all right. Hard to believe. Usually, all these pageant, pageant contestants, they're very good at keeping, no. you know, a constant level for their weight. You yeah, know. Yeah, but maybe I love cooking as well. I love oh, cooking. Yes. And, and uh-huh. I love trying. Uh-huh. So I can't stop trying food. You know, and I have a weakness. Once uh, one bite, I will finish everything. Now we know that you were recently in a reality show where you were cooking with a few other celebrities, yes. alright, okay? But, um, and actually you were one of the top five finalists actually, yeah. right? Now any plans to maybe open a restaurant or, you yes, know? Yes, you know one of my dreams is to have my own bakery. Oh, a bakery? Yes! Ah, can I make cupcakes or not? Can! I, yeah. you, guess what, I, I, didn't, I didn't sleep last uh, yesterday for the whole, whole night just for baking one cake. Ah, yeah. okay, we have to try because um, <laughs> I had my birthday last week and I had a stack of cupcakes. Oh, and so I was wondering, okay. like, everyone was saying that like, we have to find, it's very hard to find people who make good cupcakes. Yeah. So, celebrity making cupcakes, I think that's, that's the, one of the best uh, ways to sell, you know, to market yourself, yeah, you know, it, okay. it helps. But yeah, who knows, one day we'll see. First week, we, we mm. see her singing, we see her acting, <laughs> then we see her own bakery. That might happen, alright, yeah, we never we, know. Because we need to keep venturing into new stuff, yeah. Okay, mm. alright. Now, uh, my next uh, question to you is actually, what would you advise people who yeah. want to follow your footsteps? What would you tell them oh, to do? Because yeah. for me, listening to all this, it sounds a bit too much. It's like she's doing too many things at one time and yet she managed to do it. Yeah. So if there are people who wish to follow your footsteps, yeah. what would you advise them? I guess, uh, especially the young ones, uh-huh. focus on their studies first. Because okay. nowadays, uh, even celebrity, you need the education. Education is uh, the weight, the weight to everything. You know why I can, um, for me, it's like the mind focus, everything is all for my education. So from there, uh, not only the talent part, but you need to how to manage your talent. Okay. And then apart from education, one thing, don't give up. You know, in any entertainment line or any uh, any like business line, there's no such thing as definite formula nowadays, because social media kind of break through all the rigid structure. Okay. So don't how to say um, you just don't give up. And for me, right, you must face failure. You must face failure. You must face failure. You know, failure is just like you know medicine. Okay. Yeah. Although it tastes bitter and stuff, but it does kill. Ah, yeah. That was very good advice. You, you get me? Don't like kind of don't treat yourself to too much dessert because okay. you gain weight. <laughs> ah. So uh, sometimes like whenever like um you need to do something different from others. Like people always say that hey you're crazy why you want to do so many things and stuff but it's not enough it's not enough and always be uh how to say um on the go and modest mod- modest moderation as well. I yeah. see. Very good advice. I like the bit where you talk about <laughs> failure just now that actually it's necessary to experience failure. Yes, because people kind of shut themselves to failure, are very scared, but face the what about the scariest thing you ever After you done. fail, you must learn to come back, right? Exactly. Come up yes. stronger than before. Yes. That one is very good advice. <laughs> and now I understand why she can juggle so many things, you know, like five different jobs all Yeah, because I fail a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know whether that's true. I don't see any failure. So, as, as far as I can remember, the first time I met Swincy when I first you know, saw her performing and everything, I don't remember her failing. After winning the pageant, she's been going up and up and up and up and up, you know? So uh, anyway, unfortunately, that's about all the time I have. Okay, right. But like I said, um, I'm very happy I got to learn so many things about her. And the advice, that is one of the most priceless things thank you can you. get from a celebrity like her. Anyway, thank you so much for thank joining me on Red Carpet with. Uh, we've got more interesting updates. Uh, if you'd like to know more about lifestyle entertainment, log on to www.redcarpet.net.my. But for now, this is Shah and Suin C saying goodbye.